Welcome back guys. In this video I'm actually going to make this drag box mesh thing uh, change in geometry. So we're going to move the vertices in the correct position based on our 2D drag. So this really and truly is converting a 2D box on the screen to a 3D mesh on in world space. This is how you do it guys. Now you can do it for any of your of your shapes in the 2D coordinate space and convert it to a 3D mesh. But we're going to do that in this video, but before I continue, I'm just going to explain something. I'm just going to debug log out one of these ratios, just so we're clear on what they do. So I'm going to debug log P3 ratio, and 0.3 is the bottom right of this box. So here's our little diagram. 0.1 is going to be the top left, 0.0 top right, and etc. etc. So 0.3 is the bottom left point of this box, so where my mouse is. And as you can see, what's debugging out is its proportion on the screen. So if I go right to the side of the screen, it will move towards 1. So the value of 1 for the x value will be right at the side, but because, because my camera moves, it kind of goes more than that. And um, similarly, with the height, the bottom of the screen is 0 for the height, so it went to 0 there in the debug log, and it'll be 1 right at the top. Okay, so it's just a proportion from 0 to 1 where each of the points of the boxes are. And because the proportion of the screen, so the screen height and the screen width, is exactly the same as our as our clip planes on our camera or the camera's field of view, because we know that this kind of updates in real time, as you can see, um, we can just plug those ratios into our clip planes on our camera. And then we can just convert this box, uh, our drag mesh, to a 3D object. So I'm going to do that now, but we need a bit of information. I'm going to get the clip plane points of the near clip plane first. So clip plane points, this is our struct object. I'm going to say near clip plane points equals, and we, we defined this function in the previous video, um, camera clip plane points I think it was. That's the one. And we're going to pass in our drag mesh camera, the camera component near clip plane getting the clip plane points of the drag mesh, okay, the near clip plane points. So we need a couple of things, we need the width and the height of this, so we can then times or multiply the width and the height by our ratios. So for example, if my x ratio is 0 0.5 and I multiply the width of the clip plane by that, it will be right in the middle of the clip plane, so exactly the same from the 2D to the 3D. Okay, so let's do that float. Um, near plane width, let's get the width firstly, equals vector 3, we're going to use the distance uh, method, vector 3 distance, between the near clip plane points, uh, let's say lower left, and the near clip plane points lower right, because then we work out the width of it. Okay, so similarly for the height, um, near plane height. Again, vector 3 distance, near clip plane points. Let's use the uh, upper right this time. Let's use upper right. Okay, and we're going to work it out to the lower right. So near plane points, lower right. So we've got the width and the height of our camera. That's really cool. So the distance method is really awesome because no matter what rotation you are in world space or anything with scale, it will still work out the distance between that in a really easy way. Just call this distance method. So now we've got the width and the height, we can times this by the little ratios we worked out in the previous video to work out where each point of the box is in 3D space. And to do that, I'm going to use my pointer object, so our pointer game object. I'm going to move the pointer object here, transform, position, and I'm going to move it to the lower left of the near clip plane. So we're always going to move it to the lower left. Near clip plane points, lower left. And the other thing we need to make sure is that the pointer is in the correct rotation as well. So I'm just going to pointer transform Euler angles equals simply our drag mesh camera transform Euler angles so now it's in the correct position it's in the correct rotation we can now translate this with our ratios so we can say pointer transform translate we're going to translate this and uh, what we all we need to do is translate it by the ratios. So all we need to do now is uh, translate the pointer object according to these ratios. So we can say near plane width times P0 ratio X because that's the width ratio for the width and uh, for the height near plane height times the P0 ratio dot Y because that's the height and for the Z we don't need to, we don't need to translate the Z so we just put 0F and we've just worked out 0.0 in 3D space basically, so vector 3, 
point zero this time is simply the pointer transform position and we've just worked out point zero so this is point zero here in 3D space and as simple as that guys so all I'm going to do here we can tidy things up in the next video um, make the code a bit shorter but I'm just going to copy and paste it for now so we understand what's going on so um, we, we're resetting the pointer's position again to the lower left near clip plane and uh, I think it's already in the rotation of the of the of the drag mesh camera so we just need to translate it again so near plane width this time it's 0.1x and 0.1y and it's as simple as that then we can work out 0.1 so all the work we've done in the previous videos allow us to work out these points in 3D space rather easily so 0.1 Okay, and we're just going to copy and paste this two more times for the point two and three. Point two, and we're going to work out point three in 3D space. Bear with me a sec whilst I just change these. Point three, point three. So what we're going to do for point four, five, six, and seven? Well, as you can see, guys, point four has exactly the same ratio as point zero. The only reason this plane is bigger is because the field of view of the camera kind of increases over a distance. So as the distance increases, obviously the pl the far clip plane will get bigger and that's why we used our math tan to work out the ratio between the distance and the, the angle but um, a bit off track so 0.4 ratio will be exactly the same as 0 0.0 0 0.1 will be exactly the same as 0 0.5 and etc etc so the ratios kind of are the same so 0.7 is exactly the same as the 0.3 ratio so what do we need to do well I'm going to get the far clip plane points this time because they're completely different than the near clip plane far clip plane points camera far clip plane and similarly here we need to get the height and the width of the far clip plane so instead of near clip plane width I'm going to say far clip plane width so there's a lot of copy and pasting going on far okay so far clip plane points lower right okay so we've got the width and height of the far clip plane this time and all we need to do is just copy and paste all this and just replace it really with 0 0.5, 6, 4, 5, 6 and 7 so 0 0.4, 5, 6 and 7 just going to go through and um, change these okay guys so instead of near it's going to be far so it would be a good idea to copy the word far wouldn't it Okay, so I've just speed up the video a bit so you didn't have to sit through that, guys. So we're using the same ratios, 0 0.01, 2, and 3. We're using exactly the same, but we're now applying them to the far clip plane instead of the near clip plane. And then we can work out 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and 0 0.7. So this is it. We've got our uh, eight points in 3D space. And all we need to do now is actually move these point vertices or apply them to our 3D mesh. And to do that, we just need to get our mesh object. So mesh equals um, our drag select mesh. Whoops, not drag select mesh. Get component, uh, the mesh filter. Okay, dot mesh, getting the mesh component there. And all we need to do is copy and paste our vertices from the create drag box mesh because we're just going to reassign them again. So, so right at the top, vector free vertices. Okay, let's just copy this. We're going to reassign them all, paste it in here, and so all we need to say now is mesh vertices equals our vertices array. So simple as that. Now we've got our vertices. So let's just hop back in here and clear this, see if we've got any warnings or errors. That's absolutely fine. So here we are, the moment of truth. Let's see if this works. As I drag, the box mesh should also change. So dragging, and let's zoom in a bit here. And as you can see, the box mesh is changing, but is it changing in the right way? So just so we know what we're doing, I'm just going to hop over to my solar panels and stuff and see if I can overlap them. And let's just try and line it up in the world space. That's cool. Okay, let's zoom out. So, okay, I'm dragging and I want my drag mesh to... Okay, so I can't see it at the moment. Um, okay, so I can see the drag box mesh. It's because the normals are facing in the weird directions and things. So as I scroll through this, I'm expecting the mesh to overlap my solar panel. So I'm going to start here. That's good. It's going to go across, and as you can see, it's deadly accurate. As I'm going through each pixel, it's it's corresponding in 3D space. Boom. Going to overlap these wires.
boom, vents, boom. And as I as I scroll through the scene, it actually actually carries on the mesh, so it actually makes it bigger. So we, we're not limited to zero to one in screen space. It goes from 1.2, 1.3, etc., etc. We can go down, and that is really awesome. It's it's so awesome when something just works. So let's just double check. I can't see many things. Okay, let's collapse this. Have a look. And it seems to be absolutely fine. There's a normal issue, which is why I can't see them in this. But um, here we go. So that's a good angle. Yep, all the points are working. There's two points here, and uh, there's two points here as well. And the points are so small with our drag mesh camera. Let's see if we can actually zoom in. Actually, so I'm going to see if I can actually zoom into the near clip plane just to show you guys it's all working. So I'm going to drag. That's cool. And uh, let's go to our scene. I'm going to select my drag mesh camera, press the space bar and I'm just going to hold the alt key and then right mouse drag to go inward so frame up and then zoom in, in right in see what our near clip plane points look like ok that looks pretty good let's see if we can rotate yep there's the box there is a decent box shape there so I don't think there's any errors there let's just double check let's just yeah so there's a nice box being created in the near clip plane but what if we don't want it in the near clip plane? What if you want it like 20 units away from the near clip plane so we can s test it easier maybe? Well, instead of passing in the near clip plane on our clip plane points, because we can pass in any distance, so we can say near clip plane, I don't know, plus 30 units, for example. I think that'll work, plus 30 units. And if we now play the game, the clip plane points won't be right at the side of the of the camera. They'll be further in the scene. So let's just see if this works. Framing in on my drag mesh camera. And here we go. So now they're 30 now the box starts 30 units away from the camera, as you can see guys. Really flexible stuff here. Really nice stuff. That works really well. So there's a bit of a UV error here, but I'm not too bothered about that to be honest. We're not going to display the texture in our scene. So in the next video, we'll make this invisible, put a box, uh, put a collider on it, and then we can test if it's um, intersecting other objects in the game. And uh, that's our camera, guys. Um, drag, drag mesh box works really well. So thanks if you've been following along if, for the last few videos. If you haven't done this before. Um, it is a brand new concept of creating your own meshes and manipulating them in world space and then kind of conforming that to the clip plane points but as you can see the final result works really well and it's really smooth alright guys thanks for watching the video thanks if you've watched this far and hopefully I'll see you in the next video thanks guys